Hello, this is Sven and welcome to the next video on the Notemation Basics series. Today I have a very simple order from a web shop which looks like this. We have uh, the customer, uh, the date and some kind of article list with two positions. We bought a monitor and a mouse and we are going to send it through the automation uh, starting from here and then filtering uh, some data out because uh, whenever a webhook gets transmitted there are a lot of headers which we don't need anymore and then we are going to process the data in this function and add another value and then we're going to process it uh, to, to send it to our server, for example, or counting software. So let's see how this is working. I'm going to start it right here and then execute the post request. And now I received some data here and I have the order data right here. And this is working. Oh, this is wrong. So let's get started. And the basis of what we're going, uh, going to do now is the end of our last video. So let's get started right here. First things first, we need to change the way that we uh, transmit data to post. So we're not getting data anymore, but we're going to post data. And I'll leave it at the greetings webhook, but you can also give it a more meaningful name. That's fine. So over to Postman. We don't need the query parameters anymore. And we can change to post here as well. And the uh, the the body will be more important this time, so we will change to body here and send some raw data in the form of application application JSON. Uh, I'll just copy it from here, make it more quick. I can post this data down below in the info box, so can use you can use it as well. Right. So we have our data, customer number, date, article list with two positions, uh, three monitors and eight mouses. So this is, uh, this is the first, the basic data that we uh, can test now. So let's execute the note, I did it wrong execute workflow waiting for webhook call. I am going to send it right there. The webhook is not registered. I did something wrong. Probably I used the production webhook. So let's see again. Test webhook. I copied the URL. Now I'm going to, oops, to post it here. And now I get the message workflow gets started right there. Here we have the body with the data that we are looking for. Very good. So the next thing would be that we filter out all the crap that we don't need. So let's take a look again. Here we have the uh, we just actually we just need this data part. So what we can do is use the set node right here. I hope it's, oh it's even in the right place. Very good. And keep only set, and we want a string. Let's say order data. And it has the value of the input 
data raw value let's see what happens right there only our uh, good and filtered data now this is still the greeting so let's get rid of this and we are going to reference to so let's uh, add another property to here because this is obviously an online order so let's add to customer number a date and article list on the same level let's add uh, online article and also um, both the monitor and the mouse are electronic so let's pass this as well and give these two articles the property is electronic okay go to the function and now we have to remember this structure so this is more a course on JSON right now so if you know how to process JSON maybe there's nothing new for you you can uh, skip this part my goal here is to make you capable of using this node even without much knowledge of programming so um, in order to reference this um, we have to dig down this tree I'll just copy this for reference down here let's delete it soon after so item is the the upper lever level and to access the lower one I will use order data and now I'm within this bra these brackets and now I want to create a new one so this will be uh, online order and set this one right I'll cut this out and let's test this real quick so here we have the new property it's on the same level as the other ones great now if we want to access the positions now um, we can use it on two ways we can say item dot order data dot article list dot position zero dot is electronic equals one and here we have it the position one that has a property is electronic one now but this is obviously not a very good solution if you have lots and lots of positions so you can use different approaches for uh, loops but the recommended one is as follows use the f for each loop position now I have to make sure that all the brackets are set right. Let's test it out. I think it's this way. Now I can act, reference the position directly. Okay, so what does this do? Uh, each position which is in the JSON will be looped through by the for each so if it's 100 ones then it's going to be 100 iterations and the data gets processed in the uh, as position so it's it's called position if I call this pause for example I can reference it by referring to pause but it's position I like it more so within this there is a property or this going to be one is electronic and we will set it to one let's see if this works there you go we have now is electronic in each of these
But what happens now if there is only one position? So we have to put a check into here. If uh, if array dot is array uh, like this. Oops. Oh, this does not work. Too bad. So let's do it like this. Uh, did I screw it up now? If this is an array. Position, there you go. And close the bracket here. Let's see. Okay, so now we checked if the position is an array, and if it is, we will execute this for each loop. Let's check what happens if it's not an array. And I will kill off this bracket and the second part so now it's only a simple position execute this workflow again oops workflow got started very good and you see uh, it didn't get an error but there's also no is electronic property here. So what we can do is we add else property and do it manually because it's not an array anymore. We don't reference it by the square brackets but directly so we have the else let's try this there you go it's electronic one so I can add the other article again and let's uh, for the sake of the tutorial add another position so this will be for 20 or for 32 and it's a keyword and it costs 99.97 and its amount will be one so let's check it out execute the workflow send this out and it's also uh, it also got the property is electronic. So this is a very easy process and you can use any JavaScript within this uh, these functions that uh, you want to use. For example, other functions, you can use if, uh, if then else brackets like I did, you can use for while, you can, you can use basically anything um, that has JavaScript, uh, that is plain JavaScript, uh, which is, uh, which makes it very very flexible. So uh, we didn't change anything around here, so we just uh, oh something's wrong anyways. Ah yeah, uh, we need to change this to order data. And this one is obviously, you can see it red now because it's not found. Current node, input data, JSON, order data, raw value, and execute node. So here we go, here's the order data with the amount in the electronic and online order properties. 
Okay, now we got the workflow up and running. And for me, uh, manipulating JSON is one of the most important functions uh, that you will want to use in this case. So I think we got this covered. In the next video, I will cover the um, transformation from XML to JSON. And I believe that's going to be the last video for this series. After that, there will be videos on each of the nodes and on how to use them. Uh, so stay tuned. Um, give me the subscription and a thumbs up if you like the video. If you have comments or questions, please post them down below. And yeah, I hope you have fun. You get all the things done that you want with uh, Notemation and enjoy the program. Bye bye. See you in the next video.